Good day, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on the Introduction to Network Devices, Part 2. Today I'm going to begin with an introduction to the layered security concept, and then I'm going to conclude with a brief discussion on some network devices. There's a fair amount of ground to cover, so let's go ahead and begin this session. I'm going to begin by introducing the layered security concept. Modern networks are composed of multiple layers of devices and applications, which can lead to issues with security. The more layers you have, it's possible the more vulnerabilities are, that are present. So while this does make the issue of security more complex, it also has the added benefit of supporting the concept of a layered security approach, which could also be called security in depth or defense in depth. Each layer or device can contain its own security methods. This means that if a breach occurs in one area of the network, the rest of the network will remain secure, at least hopefully. It is a best practice to use a layered approach when implementing network security. Many security devices are triggered by a specific action occurring, as in a network packet crosses an interface on a router. This creates a situation in which those devices are only capable of reacting to perceived threats. That in itself can be a weakness in security. On the other hand, some devices are capable of application awareness. This feature allows security devices to make better decisions based on which applications are allowed to operate on the network and which applications are not allowed to cross through it. This is another layer that can be added to the network's security. Some devices that may be application aware include firewalls, proxy servers, and network intrusion detection systems or network intrusion prevention systems. With that, let's move on to some network devices. So we're going to begin by talking about the VPN concentrator. A virtual private network concentrator, or VPN concentrator, will facilitate multiple secure VPN connections to a network. The type of incoming VPN connection to the network will determine what tunneling and encryption the VPN concentrator will implement. Most concentrators can function at multiple layers of the OSI model, specifically at layers 2, 3, and 7. Outside of an internet transaction, most concentrators will function at the network layer, or layer 3 of the OSI model, providing IPsec encryption through a secure tunnel. Let's discuss Network Intrusion Detection Systems, or NIDS. A NIDS is a passive system designed to identify when a network breach or an attack against the network is occurring. They're usually designed to inform a network administrator when a breach or attack has occurred, and it can do this through log files, text messages, voicemails, and or an email notification. A NIDS cannot prevent or stop a breach or an attack on its own, as it's only passive in nature. It receives a copy of all traffic and evaluates it against a set of standards. That standard may be signature-based, which means that it evaluates network traffic for known malware or attack signatures. That standard may be anomaly-based, which means that it evaluates network traffic for suspicious changes. It could be policy-based, which means that it evaluates network traffic against a specific declared security policy. Finally, it may be heuristic-based, which means that it evaluates network traffic against past network behavior, which means that it's looking for changes in expected patterns. Now, the intrusion detection system may be deployed at the host level as well. When it's placed on a host, instead of being called a NIDS, it's called a HIDS. Then there's the Network-Based Intrusion Prevention System, or NIPS. A NIPS is an active system designed to stop a breach or an attack from succeeding in damaging the network. They're usually designed to perform an action or set of actions to stop the malicious activity. 
Just like the NIDs, the NIPs will inform a network administrator through the use of log files, text messages, voicemail, and or through email notifications. All traffic on the network system is required to flow through the NIPs to either enter or leave the segment. Like the NIDs, all traffic is evaluated against a set of standards, and the NIPs uses the same standards as the NIDs. The best placement on the network is between a router, which hopefully has a firewall, and the destination network segment. The NIPS is programmed to make an active response to the situation. Some of those responses could include to block the offending IP address. It can close down the vulnerable interface. In some cases, it may terminate the network session. In more advanced systems, it may redirect the attack to a honey net. There are additional actions that it can perform. It all depends upon how the NIPS is programmed. Then there's the Unified Threat Management Security Appliance, or the UTM Security Appliance. It is a possible all-in-one security solution. It may contain firewall features. It may contain IDS features or intrusion detection system features. It can contain antivirus and anti-malware features. Your UTM may also have anti-spam features. It can perform content and URL filtering. So it all depends upon what kind of UTM that you purchase. You can get all of those features into one package, usually in the form of a network appliance. A network appliance is a specifically designed piece of hardware with an integrated software package, thus creating a closed system. The positive aspects of the UTM include that it provides multiple security features in a central location, which simplifies the management of security and eases updating that same security. A negative aspect is that it can concentrate security into a single system or location, which can create a single point of failure for both the network and for security. Now that concludes this session on the introduction to network devices part two. I began by introducing the layered security concept and I concluded with a brief discussion on some network devices. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I hope you watch another one soon.